Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing LLM as a chatbot service. Now, this is a new project that is gaining a lot of different liking with this repository that they have provided. And what this application does is that it gives users the access to cutting edge language models for their actual chatbot service, which you can see over here. Now, the project focuses on four specific models. In particular, they have Llama-based Alpaca, Stable LM-based Alpaca, which is something that was released re very recently. And the third one, it is Llama-based Dolly. And lastly, Flan-based Alpaca. Now, each fine-tuned to offer users a unique and engaging chat box experience. So all four of them are able to provide such unique as well as fine-tuned response to different generative contexts. Now, to simplify the process of using these models, the project includes a powerful library called Ping Pong. And this is something that the contributors of this actual project have established. And what this basically means is that it basically offers different models with a different type of conversation and context towards management of the actual chatbot. Now the LLM chatbot service project basically aims to make it easy for anyone to take advantage of the state of the art language model, regardless of their experience with natural language processing or machine learning. Now, by utilizing this project, users can basically create their own chatbots that are basically more engaging, personalized and responsive than ever before by utilizing four of these different language models which are fine-tuned and they could be incorporated into your chatbot and this is something that we're going to be doing in today's video in which I'll be demonstrating how you can actually utilize this project talking a little bit more about the analysis by going a little bit more in depth of how it operates talking a little bit about the advantages as well as the limitations and we will also be taking a look at how we can take a demo as well as how we can tweak and play around with this on Google Colab. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, there's a lot of content and a lot of value that I post. There's different things that I talk about and put emphasis on throughout the AI world. So I highly recommend that you check it out as there's a lot of things that will be very beneficial for you. Now. If you guys aren't subscribed, it would mean the whole world to me, guys. If you guys can go subscribe, like this video, and comment anything that you want to see in the future. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. The LLM chatbot service project offers several benefits that makes it an excellent choice for those seeking to create engaging chatbot experiences. First and foremost, the project basically leverages the state-of-the-art language models, which we talked about at the start, where it utilizes four different models that are fine-tuned to provide users with personalized, responsive, and engaging chatbot interactions. This basically means that users can expect a higher level of sophistication and accuracy than traditional rule-based chatbot systems, maybe in cases where certain chatbots hallucinate and you're not able to get the right accurate responses. Now, moreover, the LLM chatbot service project is basically a highly user friendly interface, which is something that a lot of people are always striving to create as ex extensive experience in natural language processing can be quite like difficult for the average person. Now, what they have done is that the ping pong library, which is one of the repositories that they have included with this project, offers a simple model, which is an approach to have conversations and context management of different types of generative content to be reduced within terms of its complexity. And this is something that we can see in this example over here, where it tries to take off the fluff of an actual hallucinated response. And this is something that they've done with stable LM in this example. So it sees what the actual model sees, and this is what the actual response is given out to show the actual creativity as well as the contextual generative content. And we're able to see that this ping pong library that is included with this project is trying to like basically fine tune the response so that it is more simple and more responsive to the actual person that is creating the response. Now, overall, I believe that this is an amazing service and it represents a significant step forward in the chatbot industry. Now, let us take a look and emphasize a little bit more on the purpose of this repository. 
Now, one of the most significant advantages of this project is that its ability to provide users to access a wide range of open source instruction following as well as fine tune LLM models for their chatbot services. We can see over here, there's a list of different supported models. And obviously you're not gonna get very high token like data sets. Obviously you can get supported ones such as like Alpaca Laura, which is quite big in some sense relative to the other ones that are provided, but you're able to get these on an open source basis. And these are all refined LMs and the project is currently focused on four specific models which we talked about now however these different models might be like placed there is a differentiation that requires prompts to formulate certain types of responses now to address this challenge the project is including this ping pong library which we talked about and this is something that they've tried to incorporate into this repository and basically, as we talked about, it offers a model that approaches the conversations to take off the flux, the fluff, sorry, as well as it manages the context of it. Now, this simplifies the integration process as well as allowing users to create the chatbot so that it can work seamless, seamlessly with different language models regardless of their specific requirements so this is something that is quite unique guys as to what they've done in terms of incorporating this library and it's something that will be quite beneficial for you guys if you use it as a service so definitely keep an eye out for this now what are some of the actual compelling reasons why someone would actually you choose this lm service over any other app now first and foremost like we talked about, the project offers an access to a wide range of fine-tuned LLMs. Now, what this will put other like chatbot services aside is that you're going to be able to get these open source and they're already fine-tuned. So you already have access to these and you don't even need to go through the struggle to actually set up and as well as fine-tuning them because you're able to get access them for free. And if there are any different types of advantages, that is basically the releases as well as the contributions that they continuously keep as they're always actively working towards improving this service. And moreover, the project's ping pong library, which we talked about, is often, I think, one of the most effective approaches that they've done to the conversations as well as the context management. Because it's basically making it easier for users to integrate the language models into their chatbot services. Now, even without the extensive experience in natural language processing, people are, are able to like basically integrate these different types of applications and chatbots easily, and it saves them so much time and resources doing so. Like we talked about in every video, there's obviously gonna be limitations to a project. Now, one limitation is that the project focuses on language models that may make it less suitable for chatbots because chatbots usually require a lot more data sets as well as more logic and functionality now while language models can provide much more sophisticated and accurate responses they may not be able to provide and handle certain tasks and that's one of the main issues as well as the main reasonings why someone would not actually use this chatbot service now, another limitation that I was actually able to think about is that the project's ping pong library, it, it is a good thing that they integrated, but while it is simple and effective, it may not offer the same level of customization and flexibility as other chatbot development platforms. Now, this is just a small drawback. Obviously, it's not something that is huge, but for users who require highly specialized chatbot functionalities, it could be a small setback as you're not able to integrate as well as edit certain things that you would with this library. So that's something to keep in mind. But in terms of running it, it's quite easy to run, run it. And I'll leave the links down in the description below so that you can get a better idea of how you can actually like in integrate this into your own chatbot. Now, basically, I'm gonna leave this link down in the description below as i'm not going to show you guys how to actually run it on your desktop because it's something that is quite self-explanatory but if you do want me to make a video on it i can do so but obviously if you want me to give you a little breakdown this is something that you will require which is python you can also use conda which is another uh, code prompting editor now 
you need to clone the repository onto your desktop and install the required files. And obviously you can use Gradio, which is another GUI menu. And this way you can run the chatbot with a good UI, which is easy to use and it actually looks appealing. So definitely recommend that you run Gradio and they have an instruction base to follow. So I highly recommend that you check it out if you are not, if you do not want to run it off your actual Google Colab. Now, if you want to do this on Google Colab, I'll leave the link down in the description below. It's fairly easy to do so. You just search it up on Google Colab and add the actual repository into the Google Colab. Now, first things first, what you want to do is click on connect. And this basically is going to show if your CPU is able to run this with your actual VRAM. And once you're able to allocate enough, your oh, in this case, it's not going to be able to do so. But if you have Google Colab Pro and if you have high RAM, then you're going to be able to allocate it and connect it. But in this case, let's see if I'm able to run like maybe small prompts for this. And what you need to do is click on runtime and make sure that you are running your GPU and nothing else. So that way you're able to perform the actions properly with this actual initialization with this demo. Now, what it will do is you need to first check if you have the right requirements as well as the capacity to run this with your GPU. So what you want to do is run this command NVIDIA dash SMI and you can do so by getting an idea of your GPU's memory capability and if you do meet the capability which is 40 GB and that way you're going to be able to run this actual application on the web now if you are then you want to click on each of the plain play buttons and this way you're able to clone and the repositories on this actual application and once you are done by clicking and installing all the dependencies as well as the different prompts you're going to be able to run that chatbot virtually on this web server so it's easy as that guys and from this you're going to be able to utilize the different four packages as well as models which we talked about above and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you get a better understanding of this chatbot now overall while lm chatbot service project offers many benefits you should be definitely considering that this is more of a specific chatbot service that is more until to different needs and i believe that this is going to be a quite unique as well as a quite revolutionary project in the future so i highly recommend that you keep a tab on this guys now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos please do so please subscribe and comment anything that you want to see in the future uploads thank you so much for watching guys it means the world to me and with that thought guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys next time peace out